welcome back or to Queer Cinema Review. Today, yeah, we are watching a classic, another period piece. Today, we are looking at our second period mm. piece. Yes, it is hearkening to the days of the fifties. Mm. Yes, way back then. Because apparently, period pieces don't have to be. We're oh, oh. making our. Uh, yeah, I'm like uh, we are the ones who have to watch it. So yeah, <laughs> so. This is our second period piece. It's set in the 50s. Yeah, my thought on a period piece is a film that is set in the past. And you have to, like, recreate all the yeah. cars and the scenery Even and the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is a period, period piece. piece. I'm loving more modern period pieces. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but <laughs> this is Desert Hearts. And it is from 1985. You no, know, I've heard yeah. the movie name. I had no idea this was a lesbian movie. This is all I knew, like, of my childhood of lesbian movies. And it didn't... It and lesbians in general. It's kind of like growing up and, like, associate, like, like Melissa Etheridge and Katie Lang and being like, that's that's what a lesbian is. And I'm like, okay. That was my childhood. Okay, definitely. And so this movie is kind of, like, where I saw that in movies. And so I was like, all right, all right. You know, I mean, we've watched, like, But I'm a Cheerleader and Fox are things that have definitely, like, modernized the game. But right. this is one of the originals. I feel like we've almost been working. All of these have led to this. To this. To watching 1985 Desert Hearts movie. As Desert Hearts. A super quick 90-minute movie. Thank goodness, because I was didn't feel like ninety minutes. I was but... confused almost the entire the entire time. I was confused the entire time of why this woman is where she <laughs> is. Why didn't I stay at a hotel? Right? Was it uh, so, synopsis? Synopsis. Uh, let's say this lady who was. They are making look so old, which apparently she's only 35 years old. So she's a spinster. So she's getting divorced, and she goes out to live at this ranch. Apparently, I think where other spinsters go. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what this ranch she's was. She's from New York, but now she's, she's in Reno. Sent there. Yeah. She goes to Reno to get, get the divorce. divorced. Anyway, and then goes back to New York. And um, a young... 25 year old young 25 year old spirited young spirited lesbian. young lesbian. Lesbian. lesbian it's always so aggressive and i just don't want it to be it's very aggressive i mean honestly the whole movie is aggressive everyone is just like grabbing each other and so yeah she's a professor and they really look down oh my on that type at the what their fancy reading books forgive myself Letting her come here with her books. So it was um good. Yeah, she met with so she met the spinster or she met the spirit of lesbian at the spinster ranch. I, oh, was there more? To, well, no, I guess what's confusing. So sorry, to, it was like um the the chicks out like the the ranch guys even like. Let's get all that traffic with no equipment. On me. Like everyone knows Kay's gay. So it's just this yeah, it's it it's like we were talking about it's like in personal best. Didn't you see personal best? How it's like women were allowed to hook up with women because it wasn't taken seriously. Wait, right, but then why was she like shaming her in her books? Like as though the books just well, the hanging. books are what's the problem. Yeah, and I was like so, she was gay already. Because literally uh she gets kicked out of the ranch from for her and Kay, like, leave a party early. And it's just, it's this whole thing of, like, well, so either they're talking about her like she was gay and it was a problem, but, or, or wasn't a right. problem, but then you go and hang out with her and it's a problem. So I did not understand the premise, the story, most of the plot. I will say the messaging and the sad kind of bleak reality they showed for a lesbian in oh, this time was pretty sad. Like you, you got married. It didn't matter. You could be gay. They're like, that's fine, but you still get married. That's what makes me hot. Even 
games. Hey. Hey, babe. Hey, you're not a pretty sight. Be careful, it don't blind you. <laughs> I'm settling down. You and Daryl should follow suit. Then we could go away together on vacation. Don't you know by now it doesn't happen with Daryl? I'm getting tired of defending your reputation. I'm used to people talking behind my back. Full disclosure, I kind of cried in the middle because I was like, oh, man, things were so bleak at this time. And then... If you don't, you don't know what's going to happen to Yeah, these there girls. was no, like, it didn't even feel like through the screen I felt they were safe. I feel like this is why we're watching these movies, because we're trying to see what lesbian films were like mm -hmm. before. That's, and that's really kind of what it is, where it, I feel like I've given credit for representation yes. and things like that, but then you have to look at the messaging of what this film is actually telling young lesbians. And, and it is not about self-empowerment. It is not, again, I'm giving credit to the producer and director. Yeah, because I don't really understand the story of it. Like, again, I didn't literally. She's off the train. All the way till the end. I'm like, I don't get it. Why is she here? Do you guys have any input? And I've seen Desert Hearts. If there's anyone who's like, oh my God, I love that movie. Please let us know what your thoughts are. We're talking period pieces. We already struggled with this with Portrait of a Lady. And that, you know, it, it's hard to, um negate the difference between the reality then of like lack of consent or anything with now and being able to view it and be like oh it's really good and I'm like it's really sad you know mm -hmm. I'm like I wonder if like at that time yeah. it's received different but at this time it's very sad I don't know <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't know if it can get okay wait well when it goes on a whole... I don't even know if I can give it a whole Oh, it's oh, a half thumb. a thumb. It's a half a thumb it's for me, too. Thumb. All right. I was like, it, it's doing a disservice to the other ratings to give this. Okay, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a half thumber. So, therefore, one complete thumb. Like Phoebe with the can. A thumb? Yes. Um, a little which Phoebe's grandma is in this. Yes. So that was cool. Okay, that was cool. Yeah, I kept the... the the woman who runs the ranch, I was looking at her and I could recognize her voice. And when I do that, I will um, try and repeat the line in my head mm -hmm. that I'm hearing the voice in and it'll get me to the character. And I was like, Esther Livingston. Esther Livingston. Bye. I was like, oh my God, okay, it's Phoebe's grandma. Right. from friends so that is our input our scoring our synopsis mm -hmm. and our review our review of desert hearts well thanks for joining us yeah thanks for uh, another session with queer cinema review i'd like to hear other people's opinions on it too yeah yeah all right thanks y'all are the best make sure you like and subscribe and thanks for all the comments. Thank Have you. Have a great day. Wait, so do you do it on three or after three? One, two, two three. Oh, I, I do, do on, I three. Three. on three. Okay. One, One two, two, three. three. Would exactly. a 90s movie be a period piece? If it was filmed now. Oh, okay. And so is that also the distinction is that it is filmed in a different time. Mm -hmm. Okay.